our fall 2020 students, this is for you. We know there are a lot of ideas out there right now about what's best during a pandemic. Amidst it all, we want you to know that your university is committed to staying well informed and to working with local and state health agencies. We are hopeful, prayerful, and prepared for the semester ahead, and we want you to be too. This fall, all students will wear masks or face coverings in their classes. I think you'll find this is actually more comfortable than you might expect. The faculty will also have a larger space in front of them and they'll be wearing face shields at different times. We also notice that the classrooms have a few less chairs in the classes. That's in order to give you just a bit more personal space. And in a few of the classrooms, you'll experience where there's a plexiglass shield between you and another student sitting at the same table. That's just another measure we're taking in a few of the classrooms to make sure you stay safe this fall. Hey students, Sean here. Really excited to see you and to be able to worship together in chapel. Uh, in order to accommodate physical distancing, here's what we're going to do. We're going to be offering one chapel three times a week. Uh, the same chapel on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And here's how we're going to accommodate physical distancing. On Mondays, all first floor residence halls will attend. On Wednesdays, all second floor residence halls. And on Friday, all third floor residence halls will attend. And commuters, you'll be distributed according to your last names. And I'm really excited that we've got a new software, or actually an app that we'll be using to track attendance, which makes things a lot quicker and easier to do. So be looking for more information about how to download that app and more information about chapels for the fall coming real soon. We are back. And this semester, we really, really want to be together the whole time. And to maximize our ability to do that, we have to be in agreement to do three things together. First, let's make sure we always wear face coverings whenever we leave our floor. Second, let's make sure we don't have any visitors that aren't already a part of Bethel's community. And third, let's minimize our time off campus to times that we really need to leave, like going to work or going to see our family so they'll do laundry for us. Each morning, all faculty, staff, and students will complete a health self-screening using the BU app every morning before they leave their home, apartment, or room. It'll just take a minute, and if you're experiencing any symptoms, it'll prompt you on what your next steps should be. Commuters, we're here in the commuter lounge, and this is a space just for you this fall. We can't wait to see you when you're back on campus. Encourage you to stop by and say hi, and we look forward to seeing you in a couple weeks. When you're hungry, there are three options to dine on campus. The dining commons, sufficient grounds, and the acorn. Food at the Acorn will be what you're used to. You can go in, get your salad, sandwich, or soup, and find a seat, whether it's inside or outside. One thing that's changed about the Dining Commons is that now your food will be served to you. Also, there will be a guide present to help you find seating. And remember, when you're done, you can always ask Mike for seconds. Here at Sufficient Grounds, we have lunch and dinner options served from 11 to 7. You can use your meal swipe to get a sandwich, wrap, or salad with two sides and a drink. This year, campus activities is still going strong. We have some new things coming up for you, such as a cookout with Kickoff Madness, as well as food trucks coming on campus, with the FOE Film Festival being outside on a big screen. You won't want to miss it. We also have some fan favorites coming back, such as Putt-Putt, Midnight Breakfast, and the President's Pumpkin Party. We'll see you there. So you guys are probably wondering what intramurals are going to look like this semester now that COVID's here. Well, we want to have both season-long tournaments as well as day-long or weekend-long tournaments. So, some of the sports that we're floating out there are badminton, disc golf, 2K tournaments, and things of that nature. But now more than ever, we really want to hear what you guys want to do. We have a lot of flexibility this semester, and so there will be several different opportunities for you guys to share ideas with us so that we can actually do things that you want to do. 